Weapons play a large role in post-apocalyptic worlds and can really change the pacing and stakes of a situation and story. So the first thing to think about is the era in which your apocalyptic event actually happened in, because whenever it went off, it essentially freezes that error in any progress that they have been making. So whatever weapons are out at that certain point is essentially what your new society is going to be using and basing themselves on top of. That's if anything actually survived at all. Mayday! So if it was in the 18th or 19th century, you'd have some basic guns, some bolt action rifles, I think maybe, along with cannons and swords, of course. Whatever era you do pick, make sure you do your research if you're making it set upon Earth. I mean, obviously, if you're choosing somewhere else and you're entirely making other planets, you don't really have to do as much research in that sort of term. But yes, alongside that as well, after you've chosen the era in which it's going to happen, is basically thinking of ammunition, storage, and knowledge in terms of weapons. So of course there's going to be some weapons around and there might be some ammo stashes around as well but they're kind of limited if they even work at all. And you have to decide in your story if there's going to be a point where they can reconnect with that old technology and perhaps if it's for example with guns or swords they learn how to maintain them, they know how to create new ammo and new parts for the guns. And you know, this could either be through trial and error, or it could be because they found books and educational materials from like way back when. Or on the other side of it, you can have sort of a, an altered path because of the apocalyptic event that happened, which sets the future or that new generation down an entirely different avenue compared to how the older world was actually going ahead. And of course, these new avenues open up the sci-fi aspects where you can have a play around and get creative with new weaponry, which for myself, I like to sort of research cutting edge technology and then just have a sprinkle of sci-fi into it, go and develop my own ideas from there. And then with this sort of new avenue and the new tech and also the old tech, that's when you can decide which settlements have access to both or just one or the other. Perhaps uh, one settlement only has a certain type because they've developed it, or perhaps they only have the knowledge and access to certain things in that area. It could be raw materials, but essentially you've got to think about sort of the the important role that weapons play in post-apocalyptic societies because things tend to be a little bit hostile and perhaps the people who are in charge of maintaining and repairing these weapons are actually the bad actors themselves and aren't very nice people or you could have it as you know good people that just want it for defense but obviously that would then attract bad actors in to try and take these weapons that are being developed so with sort of the mixed match of like the sci-fi weapons the swords and the axes and knives and guns and all sorts of other machinery pushes through a creativity that I, I struggle to actually plan. You sort of have to write through it because you can't plan the situation, especially with all the variables involved. Um, and it's actually a really enjoyable process because you don't really know quite where everything's going. So that's definitely one of my favorite aspects when it comes to sort of working with different weapons and how they impact each other, especially in sort of apocalyptic societies. And of course, all of that has then been built on sort of the era you've chosen and then the settlements that you have that have different weapons compared to each other, because localization does come into it as well. Obviously, you know, one area might only have swords, like in like the Badlands, for example, when there's not really any guns. Um, and, you know, you walk over the fence and what do you know? Someone's got like a sci-fi futuristic laser weapon or something that could blow your head off, which is going to be an unfair advantage there. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it really. So it's the area you pick. It's, you know, whether you're playing with sort of sci-fi weapons that you want to create and have your world go down a different path compared to the old world, whilst also being built on top of the old world with some of the sort of remains of the old weapons still about. And whether you can merge them with the new weapons is always something that's interesting. And of course, where it actually happens in your world, because that demands how much power certain towns or settlements have in regards to either the raw materials to actually make the weapons or perhaps just the knowledge in actually maintaining and repairing them and selling them, adding all to the flavor of sort of different settlements, different characteristics for settlements, which is usually based around sort of that aspect of how hostile they are. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I um, didn't really have too much of a plan, but I wanted to just touch upon some things because I know I've briefly mentioned it before and just wanted to just discuss it again. Um, yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Cheers for watching.